Hello Nerd Fighters, it's Monday, that means it's vlog time. Now this week's video is supposed to be about what bothers us most, or what irks us most. <sighs> I have an entire vlog dedicated to just talking about things that bother me for, you know, a 10 minute straight angry rant every week. Uh, I, I'm not an angry person, for the most part, I have a very long fuse. I try not to let myself get too ticked off about things if I don't need to and I just generally speaking I'm actually a really mellow person even though you know I, I usually find something to be pretty ticked off about for angry goth kid and I really thought about it and a lot of things make me really angry prejudice and unfairness and things like that the fact that People will hate irrationally, but then I thought, what gets to me most? And that took a disturbingly introspective turn, because what bothers me most, ultimately, is me. Now, when I was younger, I had some, uh, some depression issues, and unlike a lot of people I know, I'm, you know, I'm really, really extroverted, so I externalized it. And it became, I was just the biggest misanthrope ever. I was really mean, and I hated everything, and I was angry all the time, and it was just really bad. And now, I, I, when I was about 16, I was able to kind of drown that in work, in my work, in performance and art and writing and things like that, and that's good, but it, whenever I don't create, I get, it, I kind of relapse and I get really upset over little things. And also, when I find that I can't help people who appear to need help, like the people I care about, then I get really bad about it as well. Uh, like, for example, if any of my friends are also feeling depressed about something and they're really upset, I get so scared because I, I am so paranoid sometimes that they're just going to go off and die. And... Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but in any case, it's not a thought that I particularly enjoy. And so I will do everything in my power and everything else becomes irrelevant until I can securely think that they're okay. And I refuse to allow myself to be happy while other people are having problems. I refuse to allow myself to cheer up in any way. I refuse to allow myself to focus on anything, and so as a result, work doesn't get done, and I hate myself again. And then I also hate myself for being insufficient and helping people. And it's just this really bad, vicious cycle that I get caught in. And I had a relationship from last summer to that winter for about five months, and for the most part it was pretty good, but the the boy in question used me as like this emotional crutch which was unhealthy for both of us because I would be obli I would feel obligated to help him and he needed help but he would only come to me and so that was really bad ultimately now that I look back at it uh, you know in times where you know both of us were pretty much, much in a good mood it was great uh, but ultimately, it was a very codependent relationship in that sense, and we were really only feeding each other's depressive, like, obsessive issues. And, and that really bothers me that I can't focus on more than one thing at a time. And I do have, fo I have focus problems. I, even when I'm just doing work, like schoolwork or something, I'll go off and look at something else and uh, two hours will pass by and I'll have no idea what I was even doing. And I just have a hard time focusing on things a lot. And, and so, but then when I'm trying to help somebody out who's, you know, depressed or overly anxious or anything like that, I feel like nothing else is allowed to exist until I can make them feel better. And that's not healthy for me. It's not healthy for them. It's not good but it's a, like a compulsion for me and I don't like that so uh <laughs> I uh, hooray self-loathing problems uh I'm I'm sorry that this was a rather um downbeat sort of video but you know that's the kind of thing that happens
and honesty is sad sometimes. So I'll uh, see the rest of the heptagon on Monday.